status update on Halo 2 Anniversary Flighting, playlist changes coming to the MCC, and a long lingering bug with Halo Combat Evolved has been fixed internally. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again give you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button so it lets me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel. It helps keep more people up to date with everything going on. So let's get right into the content here. Talking about MCC and recent updates, so we do have a playlist update that recently went live on April 8th. If you guys haven't noticed that Griff Ball is now available and is now a feature category for Halo Reach, Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 3, and Halo for it rotates in for mayhem which was now rotated out for 8v8 action sack combat evolved which actually if you guys ever played ce mayhem it's actually a lot of fun it's crazy chaos but it's actually kind of fun to play at the same time and now that has been rotated into the action sack play so if you still want a chance to play in ce 8v8 make sure you have action sack selected if you want to play mayhem play us on that so it's not gone it's just put into the mix and just a little friendly reminder guys like global double xp does end on april 29th so make sure if you're trying to grind through your 1 through 100 tiers to get into that because i'm pretty sure we will be seeing a new season when halo 2 anniversary is released on pc and so let's get into the details you're probably all wanting now is the halo 2 anniversary flighting information so as we do every friday postums goes on halo wave point gives us an update with the mcc as we do know that ring one and two are currently in status right now when it comes to the flighting process for halo 2 anniversary coming to the pc we're going to get an update in this video about what the current status is on that and it sounds like we're getting very close to a public flighting postum states that over the last couple weeks there's been a kind of a repeating loop of feedback going between ring one and two back to three for three to fix the issues that ring one and two and find go back to them find other issues report back to them and this kind of feedback loop that's been happening recently with uh, Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary flighting. Well, it sounds like right now they have it kind of locked down to just one Ring 3 blocking bug. And post some states on this update saying, our current target is to begin public flighting in the later half of next week. Our last Ring 3 blocking bug is resolved. If and when it is fixed, and no new blocking issues are found, we will let folks know and get the next one out the door. So this is awesome to know that they're getting very close to fighting. We pretty much have a confirmed date essentially, which is going to be sometime between, I would say, April 14th through April 17th, we'll be seeing the release of the flighting. Now, I definitely will be making content on this channel about the flighting and all the content that's going to be involved with it. If you want to know everything that's in it, check out the videos at the end of this one as a link to all my previous videos talking about uh, the content that's going to be in this, but basically we get a lot of stuff. We have campaign, we have multiplayer, we have new challenges, uh, theater mode as well coming in for the MCC uh, for Halo 2 Anniversary. So a lot of stuff to check out and I definitely will be making videos to, for all the people who weren't invited to get a chance to check it out and also I will be streaming it on my Twitch channel which link is in the description down below. Not only are they testing out the game obviously when it comes to this flighting process but they're also testing out their new invite system which is kind of a hybrid of what they were doing previously before it sounded like it was just going to be on the Halo Waypoint website. Now it sounds like it's a bit of a mix between getting emails and also using the Halo Waypoint website as well and I'm going to read exactly what they say here so we'll ease off of any confusions and if there's anything wrong with it that you're confused about go out to postums or leave in a comment section down below and i will send questions out to postums as well on twitter see if hopefully he replies back uh, but this is what he goes ahead and states if invited you will will receive a standard email at the verified email address you provided in your halo insider program profile here on halo waypoint you will receive a notification informing you that you have been invited to a flight you will also receive a message that in includes key flight details such as your steam key a link to installation instructions and other information piece related to your flight all of the information will also be accessible via your halo insider program profile page this includes links to your flights instructions details whether it's steam microsoft store or xbox one and this page will also include information about the status of the flight. If it's a Steam flight, your Steam key will 
live here too. So again, it sounds like you'll be receiving an email still to make sure you get the notification. It's because not everyone goes on Waypoint every day to check up if they've been, you know, what's going on on there. So you will still receive an email letting you know that, hey, you've been invited. And then it will take you to your Halo Insider Program profile page that will give you the inf necessary information that you will need to uh, learn how to download the flight, to get your Steam keys, or, you know, how to download on Microsoft Store, etc., etc., things like that. So all your vital information will be on the website while your notification will be on email but also if you just check halo waypoint often i'm sure you'll see a notification pop up on there as well and that's about everything going on with the flighting guys i'm excited about this i cannot wait to jump in and play this because i've been just wanting i've been recently playing halo 2 anniversary again you know, kind of get warmed up with uh, how halo 2 and halo 2 anniversary work and it's like playing especially btb anniversary is just almost unplayable with the amount of frame drops that happens on my basic xbox one uh it makes me just not want to play it at all that's how bad it is for me and so then i end up just kind of playing halo 2 classic which i've been you know getting better at trying to understand it better and it's uh, a whole new beast when it comes to playing halo so i definitely will be releasing a tip video when the game does release to help keep you guys uh you know get better at the game give you a leg up on the competition compared to the people who just jump in and play the Halo 2 flighting information was not the only thing provided in this little update. They also mentioned about Halo 2 Combat Evolved as there's been a plagued bug that's been going on with uh, C's and that basically if you play the game over FP 30 FPS that your bolt spread is actually larger than it should be. And obviously when you're playing on PC you want to have pretty much as many frames as possible and so that kind of defeats the purpose of playing the whole game on PC where you can just play on console. Well they mentioned here that the uh, spread on the Magnum when played at higher than 30 fps has been resolved internally now i do remember post them saying that they do plan to flight this fix before actually finally being released uh I, though i would kind of like to see it just to be released anyways i don't know if we really need to flight this kind of thing if they know that it's been fixed internally uh, but i did reach out to post on some twitter asking him that question i haven't got a reply back but you know the guy's a busy guy he has a lot of things to worry about rather than kind of spend his day on twitter going back and forth on things so obviously uh but if we do have any more information provide on that i definitely will make it on this channel guys so there is no date right now when that ce magnum spread fix will come in i'm assuming maybe it might be kind of slipped into this coming flight as we've seen this done before with the previous flights that additional content gets added into it and so hopefully things work out well and also expect a bit of a cleaner product when it comes to, of bugs when it comes to halo 2 as uh you know the, the longer time they've had to work on bug fixes the cleaner the product will receive the more finished will be so it means that the turnaround to final release will actually be faster so that about does it for this update guys i appreciate you checking out this video if you learned anything something or have something you want to talk about leave it in the comment section down below if you like this video and want to see more like it make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this if you're new to the channel don't forget to tap subscribe to keep yourself updated with everything going on in halo and if you've been out of the news loop for the last few days or weeks make sure to check the link right here on the playlist i have for all my videos that i have been releasing keep you guys up to date as much as possible when it comes to halo so check out that if you've been out of the loop for a few days so thank you so much for watching I greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.